All right, guys, it's early July, and it's about time to get some, some of these things out, these trail cameras. So today we're gonna do a review on uh, some of the trail cameras that me and Mike have used over the years, and uh, some of our favorites. We'll give you the pros and cons of each, and uh, kind of just talk about them. So if you want to start, go ahead. We're gonna go from like the cheapest to uh, the most expensive. Little cheap one here you could just pick up pick up at Walmart. It's a Tasco. It's a good camera. I mean, it takes decent quality pictures. It's cheap. I think thirty nine ninety nine for the ten. And the, the 8 megapixels, 29.99, I believe, but battery life's decent. I love to use these on public land and stuff, which we've had good luck with on public right. land. I mean, they're, they're set up to cable, so you can actually set them up with a cable so nobody will steal them, but usually I'm in such a hurry, I'll just go and throw them out. And I try to put them up in the air, like Kurt and me try to do on the public land, get them up out of sight, which usually works pretty good. And then we carry these cables these to cables lock them here. up. So they usually, actually would go in the back, and then yeah. you just lock them up. We, we, if we keep our cameras low, like uh, waist level, we like to lock them up. Yeah. But if we keep them 10 feet high, if we use a climbing stick to put them up, we'll, we won't lock them up usually. But we've had decent luck um, on public lane without getting cameras stolen. But obviously, every couple of years, you'll get one or two stolen. But for that's a good option if you want to stay cheap. Yeah. This is the um, older model of the Tasco. Same thing from Walmart. They're like 40 bucks. This actually, I know yours has the... The double A's, right? Yeah. That's an older. That's that's a double newer version. A's. This is older. Mine's the big C batteries, but this thing I've had actually says on here since 2011, and it's still kicking. So this is that this, one an actual flash too, right? This one's the flash one, yeah. Yeah, they do some good quality pictures at night. A lot of guys don't like the flash, but I've never had yeah. a problem with them. I don't think it scares the deer, but no. So that's that's Tasco there. Overall, I mean, if you want a, a cheap camera that takes pretty good pictures, I mean, you can get these things at Walmart for like, like 40 bucks. Next one, um, me and Mike both have is a, uh, is Wild Game. These are pretty good cameras. Um, not my favorite, but the only thing you can't do with these things is you can't lock them up for some reason. I this think one you can has lock, a little cable spot on it. You can lock be yours a small up. cable. But mine's, uh, if I remember right, this is like the Cloak 12 or something like that. They're like $69.99 at Dick's Sporting Goods. But uh, they're pretty reliable other than what happened with mine is I've had this thing for six, five, six years. The batter actually like corroded here in the bottom. It's obviously from, from using it so much and keeping it out for so long. But overall, the batteries last pretty long and um, they actually take some of the best quality pictures out of all these cameras really. Yeah, Same this, thing with yours. This one takes some really, really high quality daytime pictures and some really good quality nighttime pictures. Uh, we'll show you all some of the pictures from this camera. Last year I had one camera pool where there was like seven different shooter bucks on this camera. Mm -hmm. And it had some good pictures, good quality. So I was really impressed with it. And the battery life's not bad at all. What, what was the brand? What was this one? Do you remember what it was called? Yeah, that's the Mirage. Mirage. 12 or something. 18 megapixel. This one's 18 oh, megapixel. 18 was this one. I think that one's 12 megapixel. The one thing I do like about Wild Game is they really blend in with the tree really well too. Yeah, they do do a good job. But the only that. thing with both of these is there's like a red... A um, red indicator light that shows yeah. when it's taking a picture, which I am not a big fan of. The Usually I put tape that. over it mm -hmm. or mud or cover it up with something to keep them from staring at the camera and looking at it, especially those big bucks. You know, sometimes they'll get a little leery in there and it'll make them want to come up and smell it. And then if you didn't get all your scent off of it, you're messing up right there from the get-go. What's that one there? Stealth Cam. This is uh, one from Field and Stream. It's a uh, decent camera. I think I got it for Christmas in like a package. And it was like $49.99 for this, the camera, two SD cards, the batteries, and the two straps or something like that. And it doesn't take the highest quality pictures, but it takes good enough pictures where you could see what you're looking at. The nighttime pictures are really not great at all, but battery life's been good. I put it out last year and it was out all year on three shot burst. So that's how I like to run it is on a slow three shot burst with this one. Camera on the video mode, it will eat up the batteries pretty quick, but it's a decent camera. Right. I know the higher end stealth cams like the DS4K, they're like 250 bucks. Yeah. Those things take really good video. They um, yeah, but that overall those stealth cams are pretty good. I never I never really ran them. I had one of them and then I ended up selling it. 
but overall they're pretty decent for the price. Um, so next is the Bushnell. This is the Bushnell, I think it's called like the Essential E2. And uh, it's a pretty good camera. It's pretty expensive though. It's like 180 bucks for this thing. Um, the video is pretty good on it. Um, the only thing I didn't like about it for an expensive camera, it doesn't take the best nighttime picture. But it blends in with the tree pretty well too. And uh, they're pretty reliable. Like um, I used to have a Bushnell back in the day. I had that thing for like eight years and that was like the first camera I ever had and it was a pretty good camera. So what you got over there that looks like a dinosaur? Oh man, it is a dinosaur. <laughs> Check this guy out. You probably haven't seen one of these in a long time. It's an old Primos camera, the uh, Truth CR blackout camera. I've had a lot of What's success that take, with like over D there. batteries. D or batteries are weighs oh, wow. about a pound. <laughs> you ain't lugging ten of these in your backpack, you'd be hurting. But it takes up a lot of room. But I still use it around the house some and just spots that are easy to get to. And it takes decent pictures, honestly. It, it I mean it's up there with some of the two hundred dollar cameras and I bet I paid fifty for it, so it's right. not a bad camera. It's noisy though, so that's how I the motor cameras too. Work. It's kind of weird because it go up to it here, like it only has like a setting where you can do picture and movie, so mm -hmm. you can't even like set the time or date. You have to go on your computer and oh, set it with like an SD card. It's kind of weird. Next one is the Moultrie. This is the uh, the Moultrie M80. It's actually the M880. Uh, this is like a two-year-old camera. These ones here, I have the 88i as well. They're pretty big. But these are actually some of my favorite cameras. Moultrie takes some of the best cameras that I think around. Um, they blend in with the tree really well, and the battery life is actually best out of all my cameras, I think. They usually last like a whole year. Um, but overall, they're pretty easy to set up um, in here. There's like a custom start and a quick start. And um, you can either customize it, you know, on three bursts or video or whatever, or you could just do a quick start where it's like a quick start mode and you don't have to mess with it or whatever. But overall, pretty easy. You got like arrows down here and stuff to, to go through the settings and stuff like that. Really good quality camera. Um, which one do you have there, Mike? You seem like you have a Moultrie over there too. Yeah, it's the M444. It's uh, that's an older definitely version. been one that's been a high quality camera that I've loved to use. I've had it for probably four or five years now. It was a Christmas present, but it is a heck of a camera. The battery life, it'll last all year, but it's it's simple too. You just click it over, go through the modes. The only thing I've found that was bad about it is once the battery life gets down to like 25%, it doesn't like to uh, click over to color photos, the room sticks. I don't know if it's because it's getting older, it never did it before, but now that it's getting older it does it a lot, so that's the only issue I've found with it. We'll uh, show you some of the pictures that I've gotten with it over the years. I had Junkie, I had a bunch of, bunch of pictures of Junkie on this camera right here, and it takes some really high quality video and pictures, so I've definitely been blessed to get it for a Christmas present, it was, it was a good gift. Yeah, that's what that's the thing with these, these older Moultries here, they're a couple years old, but they don't they take really good video too, or you can do what's cool is you could do a picture and a video mode, like at the same time, so it'll take like two pictures, yeah. and then it'll go to video, but they don't have audio on them. That's the only thing. This one has audio on it. Does it? Yeah. Because my, my versions don't have audio for some reason. Um, and then we're going to go into the Brownings with, on the higher end models there. What was that one, Mike? The Force. The Recon Force. The Recon Force. Go ahead and open it up. They're pretty heavy duty cameras overall. Easy to set up. Same like thing as the Moultrie's basically you got like the arrows and stuff on off and you can you can really customize those to free burst and everything. How are the how's the battery life on those suckers? Well, I've had them out all season and never had to change them on three shot burst. But if you uh, start running video mode depending on how many videos your SD card will hold. It'll uh, start eating up the batteries a little quicker, just like all the cameras do. Right, that's with all of them. Overall, it's one of the best ones that I've ever used, and I'm very pleased with it. My next one is, is the same thing. It's a Browning, but it's a it's the newest model. It's actually a 2018 model. It's a Strike Force Extreme. This is actually my favorite camera, like of all time, right now. Um, amazing, amazing video. Like you can hear a gobble like a half mile away sometimes. 
Um, but really easy to just the on and off button, switch through the modes there at first. And what's really good with these cameras, these strike forces, um, you can actually go up to like eight burst on them. Nice. You can do like a rapid fire. I only like to keep it on like a three or four burst for when I put it off a trail or something. Um, but the pictures are really, really good. Um, I think this is a, I think this is a 10 megapixel model here. Um, but the videos are really, really good. The battery life, like Mike said, you can keep it out all year. It, it lasts all stinking year. Um, but I mean, I've never had a problem with the Brownings. I've had all, I, I have like five or six Brownings and a couple Moultrie. I never really had problems with them. But um, you can really use them all year round and the battery life's gonna last. But one, my favorite thing about these is uh, definitely the video. Video mode's really, really good. The audio is really good. So, but this I love is probably how durable they are too, man. Look at right. that. You don't, most of these cameras are plastic in the back, and his is. But this one has a real high quality metal plate on the back, right. and I mean, it's gonna be hard for somebody to rip that off the tree, you know. Because some of these cameras, I've accidentally broke setting them up because they had a plastic bracket on the back, and you ain't yanking that off the tree. So that's one thing I like about them too. They're just durable, man. I've dropped them walking and. Right, they hold up. They're good cameras. Browning makes a good quality product. You can use the same thing that that I had over there to lock them up. too. there's always all on all the Brownings that I use, they all have this cable um, hole here that you can lock them up. And one camera that I also didn't mention was a covert camera that I owned for like a year, and they take pretty good pictures too, uh, pretty good nighttime pictures. But I hooked a buddy up, and he bought it from me because um, he wanted a nice camera, and I hooked him up. And I was getting more into the brownies around that time, but Covert's a good camera too. You no, can't really go wrong. I've never had one, but I've heard good things for sure. They're good cameras. They're on. They're more on the on the expensive side too. They're like probably like 130 or something like that. But you can get like a low rank Covert, which are pretty good too. And then what I've heard about those Exodus cameras, I don't know if you've ever heard of them. They have the best warranty out of all the cameras. You can get like a a camera and have like a five year warranty. If anything happens to it, even if it gets stolen, like it has like a theft warranty on it. Oh man, so if you nice. put it out in the woods, like on a public land and it gets stolen, they'll give you one back for free. It's pretty crazy. Huh. I know they take really good, Exodus take really good uh, video too. I've never ran them, but they're really, really good cameras too, I've heard. I've, I've seen uh, reviews on them. I'll have to look into those, huh? One more thing I was going to touch on real quick here is the battery life. I've found over the years that just running these cheap dollar store batteries during the summertime is totally fine. They'll last just as long as the good batteries if you buy the Energizers or whatever expensive brand, but they seem to do just as good in the summer. Now in the wintertime, we like to get a little more expensive batteries. They seem to last longer and give your battery longer life. All right guys, that about wraps it up for our trail camera review today. Um, but if you guys, you guys hunt a lot of public land, it's, it's not a bad option to go with a cheaper model, like those Tascos from Walmart or even like even like these wild games you know for 60 to 80 bucks or whatever but if you guys want to get into the higher end stuff like a mold tree or a browning which are going to you know cost you a little bit more if you guys want better quality pictures then it's up to you so um but don't forget to hit that subscribe button and again thanks for watching ridge rays outdoors